Yo, what's up, everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing Accelerator Battles, which is auto chess, but not quite. So it's a little bit different. So what's different about it? Well, the thing about this game mode is that in regular auto chess, right, you're just kind of like, you're just playing and you get random units and you can reroll and that's it. Now, in Accelerator Battles, you can actually go into these screens and say what units you want a higher chance of rolling, right? So I can say, okay, I don't really want these. I don't really want Tinker. I want these three, right? And then you have a higher chance of rolling those three units. And you can go through and you can modify this however you want. You can also go in here and say, I want this species or these classes. And um, whatever you have selected, you have a higher chance of rolling. And other than that, it's just auto chess. Nothing else has changed, right? Nothing else has changed. It's just auto chess, but but this. Now, this is actually a really significant change, right? Like, I mean, like, I feel like that's obvious, right? It's a crazy important change. And um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see what we can do, right? I'm... I got myself my, my goblin mech select, uh, selected. Uh, I don't know what else everybody... Oh, there we go. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and throw you guys down. All right, there we go. And then let's go ahead and get you in here. So we got our goblin mech going on, right? Just for a little bit of early game. Then we can transition that into something different later on. Um, But yeah, this is fascinating. Uh, this is basically auto chess, but with a lot more control. Right, like you have a lot, lot more power over what you've been doing. And it's actually by the same guy that made mono battles and duo battles and all of that stuff, 16 pieces, right? And it's actually a really interesting evolution of uh, like the thoughts in that, where it's just like you have a multiplier on the units you can get and all of that stuff. It's really, really interesting. So we're going to go ahead and play a round of this and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, you can find this under the name Accelerator Battles with this picture. Let's hope it doesn't get deleted too quickly, um, as these game modes sadly have a tendency to be deleted. So, I don't really... So, I'm going to keep these three selected, and we need to start thinking about what units we want to go along with them. So, I think I would actually really like a Razor. I think a Razor is just a great unit to have, right? It's very, very powerful. Um... And uh, we can probably think about selecting the Kunk, uh, the Necrophos as well. And then I think um, along with the Necrophos, we're probably going to be looking for hmm, maybe an Abaddon. Right? Abaddon, this is just kind of like nice value here. I don't know. Let's, let's deselect the Abaddon for now. And um, let's give, maybe put a Crystal Main here. I think Crystal Main is very powerful, especially if you get your leveled up early. I feel like, you know, one of the strength here, uh, strengths, like, one of the big things here is you can actually, like, really reliably get these super um, powerful early game lineups. So, uh, let's get ourselves some super powerful early game lineups. And, and then you can get these really powerful late game synergistic lineups, right? Um, so, we've got Razor, we've got Crystal Maiden. And then I think probably Cottle, just so we have that mage synergy. I think Necrophos is great, because Necrophos is just great, right? And uh, we're going to be using these for our front line for the time being. I think Goblin Mac as a front line is totally valid, right? They're nice and strong, and um, we can just kind of like go for the Timber Saw and the Clockwork and just leave them there. Uh, Bounty Hunter is something where I'm actually kind of like fine with throwing them away. After a little while, I don't think he's that important. And, uh, yeah, we've got Razor. So, with Razor, we could get for go for the, um, for the Tiny, of course. But I, I'm not really a big fan of the Tiny. So, we're gonna go ahead and just not do that. Alright, cool. There's another Clockwork. Fantastic. There's another Bounty Hunter. So, with that, we sell you because I don't think that's gonna be a particularly useful unit. We sell all of these. And we are at 10 gold, which makes me feel good, makes me feel happy. Right, we've got... F no, this is still a one star, but we've got a bunch of... Um, bunch of two stars here. Right, nice strong two stars as well. Awesome. Oh, we're going up against... What's that? Uh, hunters. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Because, you know, Goblin Mech is just absolutely insane in the early game. So... 
we should be able to beat pretty much anything. We are only level 4 right now, so that might be something that could hinder us just a little bit, but I think we can actually be a little bit greedy. Okay. What do we have? Omni Knight, Phantom Assassins. We could go for Shadow Fiend, but I don't really want to go for Shadow Fiend. I think if we were for our demon, we want to go for Doom. And I think like Kunkka, Kunkka, Doom, and then probably another warrior. That would actually make the Tiny be not too bad of an idea, if you ask me. Look at this. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, that's, a, that's just absolutely beautiful. And then there's a Shadow Fiend. Do we go for this Shadow Fiend? I mean, if we go for Shadow Fiend, then we can uh, actually probably enable the Shadow Fiend as well. Right? But I think you can see what I'm... Well, like, what I'm saying when I think this this is so interesting. Right? Because it is still auto chess, but it also feels fundamentally different. It feels a lot more... I don't know, strategic? Right? Because, like, I, I, auto chess has a lot of strategy elements in, in it, but it's it's also very random. Right? Like, I think that's undeniable. Now, I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's... That's something that makes the game bad by any means. But it is a thing, right? It is a fact. Um, and in here, that's a little less so, right? It's just a little less random. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of interesting. All right. So, um, I'm definitely going to keep this. I like the Crystal Main. I like the Razor. I like the Cottle. That's going to be our mage lineup. Right, this right here seems totally fair. Necro, I think, is great. I think Medusa is also really good. And we're gonna go for the Titans, so that's for sure. We're definitely not going for the gods. Um, because although they are in the game, right? Important note, they are in the game. Um, problem with the gods, of course, is that we cannot go for any sort of species synergy. A species synergy. And we do have a bunch of different species here. So, I'm not gonna go for those. All right. Um, hmm. We definitely want another undead to go along with this, right? So I guess that would be the Death Prophet. Oh, there's our Razor. There's a Timber Saw, Crystal Main. Look at that. That's exactly what we're going for. So I can sell you now because I don't really think that's a great idea. And and you know what? For the time being, I'm actually gonna go for for you instead. Did I select Tiny? Am I going for Tiny? No, I'm not going for Tiny, right? No. No, 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 no. So yeah, for now, we're just gonna stick to this. I think Razor Crystal Main is gonna be fantastic. You know, you wanna have that uh, Mage Synergy, which is just very powerful. Alright. Still level 4. So something that's, uh, that I've noticed while playing this game is you actually have not that much money. Like, you run out of money really, really quickly because you're just constantly buying things, right? And you're buying pretty much, like, as many units as you can every single round. Um, and that does certainly make a big, big, big difference. Alright, so I'm trying to save up because saving up is hard in here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, it's another Crystal Main. Kind of a shame that I'm going to lose out on income because of it, but I'm going to get the Crystal Main right now. Like, we want to get high level Crystal Mains quickly. High level Crystal Mains are obviously very powerful. So, that's definitely happening. And uh, for the time being, I'm still trying to just rush up to 50 as quickly as possible. Right? Like, that's just gonna be... Um, like, <laughs> you need you need a lot of money. Like, especially in here. Right? So, really trying to maximize that as much as possible. I kind of feel like I should maybe sell that Crystal Main. No. 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 No, I, I, wanna, I wanna have the opportunity to max out if possible. Okay, so this is some nice stuff. Uh, Morbid Mask. Don't want to give that to the Bounty Hunter, sadly. Uh, we'll probably just keep that for the time being. There we go, that's good. There's also Medusa, which I feel pretty good about. So we want a Medusa for later, right? For the Tide Hunter. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units right now. So we definitely want... Um, oh, we could actually get the Lich later instead of the Cottle. Mm, but that's a really high-level unit. No, Kotla is pretty damn good, though. Well, maybe we'll just get both. 
don't really see anything wrong with that. Alright, cut him up, boy. Yeah, the double clockwork. That's a level 3 right there, level 3 tusk. Uh, even a level 3 can't go up against the power of goblin mech. I know, I'm a little bit lame for going for for goblin mech, but you know, it's just like I'm just trying to show what this is about, and I can't really do that if I just lose right away. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it would just be, it just would not be optimal. All right, cool, cool, cool. We'll get you. Um, and this is actually a little bit awkward. Um, so I think I actually put you down instead of you, right? And uh, I think I get the Fraser instead. Look at all of these level ups. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. All right, let's get that javelin. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put one of you here, and uh, number one here. Alright, let's give you some health regen. We're gonna keep the life steal for now. Dude, we are so thick. Look at how thick our lineup is. Hey, these guys are hella tanky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need one more clockwork to get a, a free star clockwork and two more bounty hunters to get a free star bounty hunter. So that's really, really good. Alright? Um. Ha! Ah! Oh man, alright, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, spend a little bit of time re rolling. Uh, clockwork, nice. Actually, that's, that's it. That's all I needed to do. Alright, there's another Crystal Maiden. I don't think I go for this clockwork. No, I, that's actually it. <laughs> that's actually the end of that. Alright, cool. That's fine with me. Alright, if I can limit the re-rolling to that little, I'm very happy. Yeah, we've got that three-star clockwork, of course, which is... That's just a big body, right? Like, that's a really, really, really big, scary body. Can be very happy about that. I'm gonna go for another clockwork. I mean, what are we gonna do with that? <laughs> Can't really level up our boy. Our boy is already leveled up enough. Oh, good, uh... oh cool. We just sold another copy of Disasters. Buy Disasters. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. Alright, what are we looking at from everybody else, by the way? Uh, cool, Razor. Another Razor. We're definitely getting those. Uh, and I'm actually gonna, like, yeah, I'm definitely putting this down over you. Alright. Should I maybe get one of you out and put a Crystal Maiden down instead? Uh, I'm not really feeling it. Not right now. I'm happy. I'm happy! Hey, Elmo91. Thank you very much for the stuff, my dude. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, so... Warriors. This guy has some assassins or some nonsense like that. Yeah, this is Troll Knight. Troll Knight is something that I, I don't know. I want to like, but every time, every time I go for it, it just doesn't perform as well as I wanted to. You know. All right. Cool bounty hunter coming in with the big place right there. That's why he's getting paid the big bucks. <laughs> remove clock from the list. That's right. We don't actually need clockwork anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and remove clockwork from the list just in case it has any sort of impact on that. Alright, but like we want to not roll clockwork anymore. There is, surprisingly enough, nothing. Uh, that is actually kind of new. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, it's really not a big deal because, you know, we, we're just kind of chilling right now anyway. We've got level 6 now, so we got ourselves a crystal main. And I think we can actually just kind of like box ourselves a bit already. Right? Because uh, we do have a very boxable lineup. We want to be in the back. Oh, my poor Crystal Maiden is going to get beaten up. Yeah, so creeps aren't really a problem. Like, the creeps aren't balanced with this in mind. So, um, yeah, they, I mean, in a normal game of auto chess, you would almost never be this powerful. Right? That just wouldn't happen. So, um, yeah, we can just run creeps over. Pretty much no matter how we position ourselves. Okay, I would be surprised if even a single single player loses to them. 
And if somebody loses to them, then we are well in our rights to call them a wiener for doing so. Alright, there is a Timber Saw and a Necrophos. Two units that we are interested in. Um, I'm gonna re-roll. Perfect. That's a Bounty Hunter 3. Very happy about it. There's a Crystal Main. That means we no longer need Bounty Hunters. Just gonna go ahead and take that out of the pool. Alright. So we got some life steal. We got a little bit more armor. Gonna go ahead and give this to you. <clears throat> so we actually only need two more Timber Saws and two more Crystal Maidens for a full... Like, for two more free stars, which is really, really nice. We took this down very easily. Awesome. Isn't this cool, though? Isn't this kind of interesting? Like, it's just so... It does play like auto chess, but it's also very different. Oh, there's another Razor, so we'll get that. Uh, we're gonna go in for a reroll. There's another Crystal Main. There's another Razor, so that's good. There's another Timber Saw. And then we just chill. So I'm, I'm happy to reroll at the lower levels right now. Um, mostly just because I, I feel like we have a lot of good units at the current cost that we can get that we would be very happy with. Alright, so I don't see any immediate need to go to a higher level. Alright, although we probably want to start leveling up soon. But I think getting these free stars is probably better sure for now it seems to be going just fine though oh razor can you do it oh maybe it won't go just fine oh we lost oh that's what i get for saying it's fine <laughs> oh man yeah it's the one guy that's also at the win streak going oh, that actually kind of stinks for me all right um let's put you down Reroll as another no, a cottle. Alright, timber saw, perfect. Alright, we get you, you back in here. We've got a big ass timber saw. We put another clockwork down. Ah, uh, no, one of you down. Maybe I should actually put a cottle down. What about that? Alright, that gives us the minus, uh, minus magic armor. And, uh,. You know, like, honestly, yeah, it's, we, we do a lot of magic damage, right? Like, all of our units do magic damage. Except for Crystal Main, I guess. <laughs> Alright, cool. Actually, we gotta remove the Timber Saw. There we go. Nice. So now, I'm starting to really feel like we want to start leveling up. Think, um, at this stage, getting higher levels will be pretty important. Especially since we just completed our Crystal Main as well. So we're gonna go ahead and scoot you over. Look at that. That's a big fancy crystal main. Now, I, I think the crystal main gotta be... Um, yeah, so since we've just completed all of the two star units. We're gonna chill. I don't think we need to immediately um, go to level 7. Now, I wanna make sure that we're still efficient on money. Okay. Look at these, look at these fat boys. And, uh, got the Cuddle Blast. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, that's still all under control. We've got also Medusa and Tidehunter lined up, hopefully. For late game. I think we actually kind of, like, <laughs> this is our late game here. Like, this is what we're going for, honestly. That shit's nice. Alright, that's another Medusa. Lone Druid is kind of tempting, but I, I don't think Lone Druid is really our strategy. As much as it is tempting, I just don't think that's what we're doing, so we're just gonna let them go. You're not coming in today, my friend. Not today. <laughs> not gonna be let in. Not while I'm here. No, 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 no. You, 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 gotta, you gotta, gotta force me to let Druid into any of my games. That's just not happening. Just got disasters and played at a local pub. It was it. Really? Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad. You know why that means a lot to me? Because you played it with people that don't fucking know who I am. <laughs> and they liked it. 
Right? Like, you go to a pub, nobody's gonna fucking know what kind of nerd am I, right? Like, of course not. Why would anybody? Right? But the fact that they still liked it, that's that's just awesome. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Alright. Um, we roll? Another razor. Well, that's a lot of razors right here. Another reroll? Oh, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Who do I put this blade mail on? It was actually Bobby Spa <laughs> HQ of your fan club. <laughs> I think we put it on this bad boy, right? We'll put it on the timber saw. I mean, this, this is, this is, look at this, look at this thick boy. My friends also have no idea who you are. Played with them like four times now. Even the guy with a shortish attention span like them. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. I'm really glad. I am really, really glad. Oh, nice. Oh, that is... That is great. No, that's 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 really good. I like this with the way this is going. I mean, we're just... We're just really strong. We're also getting our win streak back. There we go. Though I don't know if I should be upgrading this, but I am going to. <laughs> okay. Um, so we take the razor out. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and get you. I gotta level up. I gotta level up. That's just the thing. You skip Disruptor? Yeah, I don't think we're going for Disruptor. Maybe we should have got Disruptor. Maybe we should go for Disruptor. Let's actually, like, enable Disruptor here as well. Like, buff up Disruptor a bit. Ooh, Razor. We need this Cottle. Like, we need this level 1 Cottle is just not cutting it. Alright. Wait, I think the level, well, level 1 Cottle just got, like, 3 kills. <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Um, we basically just gotta... Um, we gotta level up. Right, so we are going to level up. It's fine. We got, there's no need to rush it. We're still winning every fight. Right? Um, and uh, we have just... We have five three-star units, man. Alright, some really, really good stuff in here. This guy is uh, level, level 8. Okay, that's Unix. We've got this guy level 7, level 7. These guys are almost dead, level 8, level 7. Yeah, alright. But we are still nice and healthy here. Oh, this is that guy. This is gonna be interesting. Like, this is the guy we lost against earlier. But I think this time around, it might be going a bit different. Oh, no, it's definitely not. It's definitely getting worse. Oh, Timbosaw. Timbosaw, do it, my boy! He's, he's not gonna do it. That early Medusa ultimate really, really got us. Hmm, how do we deal with you? I think, honestly, we just need a Kotl and Medusa to be level 2. Alright. I think I think that's just what we, what we need. We need them to not be just kind of like food like they're now. I'm going to go ahead and do it like so. Go and put the bounty hunter over here. Just kind of reposition things a tad bit. Hmm. Yeah, the biggest problem is really the um, are really the the hunters. Surprisingly enough, especially since the hunters also have a level two Medusa. I uh, would really like to have. Oh, <laughs> hey, we just fought you. Well, let's see if it goes a bit different this time around. We reposition things just a tad. Yep. Oh yeah, we're winning this one. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Victory That's good. I feel good about that. I'm happy. Chat, push one if you're happy. Nice. Midget's win streak got, got, got ended. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, there's a disruptor. I... Uh, We'll buy a disruptor. And kind of put him here. And just get nothing else, man. Why am I not getting anything? Huh. <laughs> well, admittedly, I'm still I'm still only level eight. You know? 
Oh, I got a 15% chance. Because, like, the thing is, like, I have a higher chance for these. But I still only have a 15% chance for them. <laughs> and in my rolls, I didn't get any 4 stars. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I should actually not have to disrupt the front line. And just kind of hope that I get the, the mana through the crystal main. I do have a 3 star crystal main, which makes a big difference. I feel like the free star crystal main is the way to get to enable the disruptor, not the. Oh, beautiful! So honestly, I uh, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna disable Medusa. I know it may seem a little bit weird. I just don't think a free star Medusa is happening with this guy also in the pool because he's also got a two star Medusa. So. Yeah. Just gonna chill. I wanna get to level 10 though. I actually think level 10 is pretty important. I think level 10 will be nice. Oh, nice. Cut him up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. This is a really interesting mode. I really, really like this. You know, it's it's just... Uh, it kind of makes you think. What if in auto chess you could just buy the units, right? <laughs> and the thing is, like, would that be the better game? Probably not. It probably would be a worse game. Because, like, I think managing the randomness is really what makes auto chess so interesting. If you could just buy things, you know, then... Uh, it would maybe make things uh, a little bit too you know to to uniform right like it would always go the same the same way which is not really what you're going for but at the same time something i also think is true is that uh Older chess is a game that was made by a chinese team probably for a chinese audience because that's what they know right they are oh that's i mean they are chinese they know chinese right um and so that kind of just makes me think um because in in China, like having big randomness in games is very common, and it's something they like. That's just something they think is cool, and that's something they enjoy, right? It's just kind of like a different attitude. Now, I don't think that's necessarily worse, right? Like I, I don't think that's there's really a problem with that, but it is a bit different. Nice, I got a cover. Feel pretty good about my cover. It is a bit different, and 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 that difference. Uh, to me, can kind of be felt in games like this, right? And and that's just where I, I ask myself, maybe it would be better to make it, um, you know, maybe it would be better suited for the Western market, for the non-Chinese audience, if it had a bit more control. Like, for example, what we're playing here, I don't know if this is the solution. This is probably not the solution, right? But I personally, when I play Order Chess, I often do feel a little bit frustrated where I'm just like, hmm. I feel like I, I, I did play this right and it, it just felt like it didn't matter at all. And I don't like that. I want my decisions to matter. Right? But I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, dude. That's me. <laughs> 17 damage is pretty harsh. All right, that is... Pretty much nothing from me. Uh, I guess I'll just throw you down. You don't really make a difference. You know what? Actually, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down the slaughter. <laughs> because it's a Naga, you know? Like, at least I get the Naga synergy. I mean, like, it won't make a difference whether I put down the Necrophos or the slaughter. Because he's both kind of shit. I'm not going to make a difference. Like, they're just going to do a different <laughs> It's not going to matter, is my point. But, um, hey, at least the slaughter has got, you know, magic resistance going, so we'll take it. Alright, this is a, a beast lineup. Well, I don't know how, how I feel about that, but from my experience, the beasts haven't exactly been the most, most powerful. <laughs> this has been a long fight, though, but yeah, there just wasn't enough damage there to really... Force your way into my defense here. Oh my god. Well, hello, my friend. Hello, my darling. 
How are you doing? <laughs> well, I feel quite happy about that. So, that is good. I'm kind of tempted to just go to 10. Should I go to 10, guys? What do you think? Well, how much gold do you have? 33, and you? 40. Mm. I kind of want to roll these really high level units. What level are you at? Level 9, and also... You're level 8, okay. Roll with the Magi. Ooh, Kaya. I mean, Kaya is kind of nice for the Razor, I guess. It's not a cobble. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's go to level 10. I'm going to go to level 10. Sacrificing a lot of income. But, the reason why I'm doing this is because I believe that we want to roll for those really high level units. And I think rolling for those really high level units is going to be a really good way for us to secure victory here. All right, like if we get, um, and it also, uh, actually, it also increases our chances for the, uh, not even like mega high level units, but just stuff like uh, the more cottles and, and disruptors increases the chances for that substantially, which I think is also really good for us. Nice. Hey, Papa Monka, is this the last game? We'll be streaming a bit longer today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this, and then I think I'm going to play some Sekiro. Oh, we've got ourselves disruptor. Nice. Do I re-roll? Let's do let's do a re-roll. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, my friends. Oh, now we're out of money. Well, we are out of money. That's okay. No, Mickey's still at work. Like, she's not gonna be home for like at least another hour, so. I wanna play some more Sekiro, man. I've been waiting to play Sekiro. I've been like every day I'm like, can we do Sekiro today? Oh, I should actually put these two in. Ooh, that's that's Mavi. I should actually put those two disruptors in. They could be a level two disruptor. That's fine. Honestly, I think we're gonna be just fine even without it. Oh no, that disruptor just died. So that um, I hope that doesn't end up being a problem. <laughs> nah, we're good. Don't worry about it. We are good. Cool, cool, cool. No, I've been I've been waiting to play some more Sekiro because like I really like that game, but I've just been. Uh, not really finding the opportunities to play it. So I don't think we need to, we need you. We'll get you two. Do I put down an Enigma or another Kotl? I think I put down another Kotl, right? Do I maybe put down the Enigma instead of the... The second Disruptor? I kind of like the Disruptors. <laughs> I, I think we'll just go like this. This is fine. I, I don't know. I don't actually think the Enigma synergizes that well with us. Alright, it's just me and the midget now. Alright, midget. Let's do it. Oh, you've got a tight hunter. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I do not believe in your tight hunter. Oh, that lich ultimate. Alright, second cottle. Ooh, got us. It's a level 3 Medusa! Oh man, the level 3 Medusa really hurts. Yeah, I'm gonna call her. Um... The problem is I can't really frontline the Disruptors that well. Because if I frontline the Disruptors too much, they just get killed, right? I actually need to, I think I want to wanna spread out more. I think I want to, like, be much more aggressive with this. Okay. Um, it may sound weird, but I just don't want to get hit by power shots. I think power shots right now are just cutting through our units, and we want to be more aggressive. We want to be in your face. Oh, the Crystal Pain with the MVP silence. Kill him. <gasps> oh, no, there's the Lich, dog. There's the Lich. Yeah, and luckily, we have a lot of HP to work with, but... Yeah, well, I mean, we're gonna need it, the way it's looking. Hmm, this is nothing. 
Uh, there's a Necro and a Disruptor. I'm gonna sell you. Get both, both of these. I'm not sure what to do, man. Oh, I forgot about this bad boy. <laughs> oh, it's fine. They aren't really that big of a deal. Oh, that's a Vanguard, actually. A guard for my rank. Hey, look at that boy. Oh, look at that boy. Wait, is that not a Vanguard? What's that last game? I think that was last game. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess that was last game. All right. Um. Well, I'll just hook you up with this stuff. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that level three cartel. I mean, that's that's just like, yeah. I've seen a level three cartel before. All right. All right, cartel, come on. Come on, dude. Shoot him. Shoot him. That did nothing. I need some tight on this. That is not a tight under. Hey, there's my bad boy. Okay. Oh, well, I guess one of you goes out. Because that tight under got to go in. I kind of want to protect this tight under. I kind of want to protect this Tide Hunter. Right, I feel like the way I get this Tide Hunter to go off is with the Crystal Main. Crystal Main aura providing the mana. Hmm. God damn, that disruptor just gets completely annihilated. What are you doing back here? Don't ravage there! Alright, so the Tide Hunter did not do what I needed him to do. Hey, we actually won against the guy, though. So that's kind of nice. Alright, uh, we move you out. Whatever's here just dies, right? Like, these two should be here. Because I know Chad is telling me to get rid of the goblins, but first of all, it's just I can't replace them right now. They're too expensive. Um... But secondly, they are just, uh, they are actually just big bodies. Like, they just have a lot of HP, right? Like, they have a lot of HP, they have a lot of armor. Like, they are fine. They're not the problem. I think the bigger problem is my unit positioning. And this Tidehunter just doing stupid shit all the time. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, Titan is not pulling through. How do I get this Titan to actually like go attack the face? No. 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 Yeah, man. All right, I'm gonna put the Titan to you. Alright. Tidehunter, I need you to go and like ravage them, okay? <laughs> I think that's what we're looking for. Alright, that's probably it though. Look, we had a dream. We just didn't really get there. Alright. Medusa ultimate, yes. Good. Good. Disruptor. Cuddle Blast. <gasps> Never mind, never mind. No, th there was a moment there. There was a moment. Honestly, I think that, like, level 3 Medusa just destroyed us. 
That level 3 Medusa went hard. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think that's a really interesting mode. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.